In this tutorial, I will show you how to make GSM based fire alert system using the flame sensor and Arduino. Here, SIM 800L GSM module, a buzzer, and the flame detector sensor is used for detecting the fire. When the flame sensor detects the fire, the buzzer will be turned on, and SMS alerts as well as phone call alert will be sent to the predefined phone number stored inside the Arduino sketch. So this video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. PCBWay provides the professional quality PCB at very low prices and for the first time buyers it's absolutely free of cost. So go right away to grab the deal. While others can get 10 PCBs at just $5 and 20 PCBs assembly at just $30. So sign up now and get your $5 welcome bonus and order the PCB for your project. So without doing any delay, let's get into the wiring parts. Connect all the components according to the wiring diagram. You can also use the Arduino Uno board instead of Arduino Nano board. But I prefer this Arduino Nano board for mini projects. Connect all the components as shown in this connection diagram and the circuit tables provided here. Before moving on to the programming part, make sure your SIM 800L module LED light blinks once in every 3 seconds. Now in this program code, you can enter up to 3 numbers. So, let's enter your phone number here with your country code. This is necessary for receiving the fire alert SMS and phone calls. If you want to send the fire alerts SMS on multiple phone numbers, then you can enter the second and third number here, otherwise leave these variables empty. Here I have created a software serial object for the GSM module. And next I have also defined the flame sensor and the buzzer pins. In the setup function, I have started the serial communication with the SIM 800L module. Then I set the flame sensor pin as input for reading the flame sensor value. And then I have also set the buzzer pin to the output and the default buzzer is at the off state. Inside the loop, I am reading the flame sensor value and storing it in the flame detected variable. If the flame sensor value is equals to 0, then the fire is detected and we will turn the buzzer on and send the fire alert to the phone number we have entered earlier. Here buzzer is turned on and the send multi SMS function is called. It will send the SMS to the multiple phone numbers and similarly I am calling the make multiple call function to make the multiple phone calls as well. Next if no fire is detected then turn off the buzzers. In the send multi SMS function, it sends the alert SMS to the all the phone numbers. In send multi SMS function, it sends the fire alert SMS to the all the phone numbers. In multi call function, it will call all the phone numbers that we have entered in the above code. Lastly, in the make a call function, it will dial a phone number and then waits for 20 seconds and after 20 seconds, it will terminate the call by using the AT command. Now upload the code by selecting the correct board and its COM port. And finally hit the upload button. Now let's test this system. So here is the demonstration of this project. So this is how you can make your own fire alert system using Arduino and if you have any doubts or queries regarding this project then do let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching. Catch you soon.